Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I will be talking to you guys about my June TBR. So I think that we all know what is going on in the world right now and if you don't, I'd be surprised. But I just want to speak up about everything that has been going on in the world right now regarding George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter movement and the protests that are currently going on. By the way, mainly because I find it very difficult to articulate and express my feelings, I've written down something on my laptop which is down here so if I'm looking down know that I'm looking at the notes I want to start off this video by saying if I'm expressing things in an incorrect way let me know in the comments down below correct me please 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 so I'm calling this video a June TBR but the books that I will be talking about are definitely not restricted only to June the books that I will be talking about in this video will reflect the kinds of books that I'm putting on my TBR for the next upcoming months and years to come on May 25th George Floyd was killed by police officer Derek Chauvin and this has caused a lot of outrage in the world but specifically in the black community and rightfully so. George's case is one of the hundreds of cases of police brutality that black people have been going through and are currently going through again. However, this is not a problem that is only happening in the US. This is not a problem that is only happening in the UK. This is not a problem that is only happening in the Netherlands, the country in which I live. This is a global issue. Saying nothing about this matter, about this whole situation is not an option, but just know that the voices of black people deserve way, way, way more attention than my voice does. I want to show you my support. I want to help in any way that is possible. The best thing that we can do right now is to listen. Actually listen to what the black community has to say. Let them speak, take it all in. This whole situation has made me realize how uneducated I am and I'm very ashamed I should have educated myself long ago about topics like these because they are so important. For right now, besides retweeting, tweeting, signing lots of petitions and donating to fundraisers, the next most important step to take is to educate ourselves. I realize that reading books right now, nonfiction books, fiction books about racism or books written by black authors is not gonna solve this whole situation but we need to take steps in order to achieve big things. Reading books about topics like these is a very small step that everyone can take and that I'm gonna take right now. Links in the description box down below to petitions that you can sign, also to fundraisers on which you can donate money to if you have the opportunity to do so, but also to important videos created by people in the black booktube community that I think you should really watch. And right now I will be talking about the two books that I'm planning on reading in June, but know that I will be reading more books like this and books written by black authors more in the future. So for June I will be picking up two books. I will definitely be finishing one of those because it's part of a buddy read that is going on. And the other book I will definitely be starting and hopefully finishing. So the first one I started yesterday and that one is White Fragility by Dr. Robin D'Angelo. This is one of the two books for the Blackout buddy read which is hosted by Shay from the channel Books with Shay. Please go check out her video in which she announces this whole buddy readathon read-along. Just please go check out her video for all of the correct information. This is a read-along readathon which is happening from June 5th until June 19th. Let me grab the Goodreads page so I can state what this book is about. So the book, White Fragility, Why It's So Hard for White People to Talk About Racism by Robin D'Angelo and Michael Eric Dyson is giving the foreword. The New York Times best-selling book exploring the counterproductive reactions white people have when their assumptions about race are challenged and how these reactions maintain racial inequality. Referring to the defensive moves that white people make when challenged Racially, white fragility is characterized by emotions such as anger, fear, and guilt, and by behaviors including argumentation and silence. These behaviors in turn function to reinstate white racial equilibrium and prevent any meaningful cross-racial dialogue. In this in-depth exploration, anti-racist educator Robin D'Angelo protects racial inequality and what can be done to engage 
most constructively. I need to be reading this book. It will probably touch upon lots of subjects that I need to learn more about. I think I will reflect a lot on myself and my own actions and I'm very excited to join the live show on Shay's channel which I believe is happening on June 19th. Let's hope that because of the time zones it will not be in the middle of the night here in the Netherlands. I also ordered a second book which is called Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race which is written by Rini Edo Lodge, if I'm saying her name correctly. The description of this book. In 2014, award-winning journalist Rini Edo Lodge wrote about her frustration with the way that discussions of race and racism in Britain were being led by those who weren't affected by it. She posted a piece on her blog entitled Why I'm No Longer Talking to White People About Race that led to this book. Exploring issues from eradicated black history to the political purpose of white dominance, whitewashed feminism, to the inextricable link between class and race, Rini Edoloch offers a timely and essential new framework for how to see acknowledge and counter racism. It is a searing, illuminating, absolutely necessary exploration of what it is to be a person of color in Britain today. I've ordered this book so it will come in very very soon and I just really want to read these books as soon as possible to educate myself. For right now, check out the links in my description and I think for now that's all that I want to say. I want to thank you all and hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.